Hey, Real Green Ninja here. Today we're talking about something you don't normally see, or hopefully you don't normally see, so let's begin. Today we're going to talk about what happens if you try to delete a customer or a job that's on a customer. So let's go ahead and pull someone up here, and I will admit I did set some people up here ahead of time. So here, right here, you'll see there's a customer, Tim Robbins. Okay. Um, now the thing about it is, is nothing has been done to his account. If we take a look at the customer's history tab, you'll see there's nothing there. All right. If we go to the next customer on the list, you'll see this customer does have stuff in his history tab. The thing is, is you can't delete a job if something has been done to the job. For example, if something's been posted in production or uh, you have it tied to prepay money or something like that, it's going to kick up an error message. Uh, same with the customer's account. So actually, let's go into a job here and let's go ahead and hit that red X. It's going to say um, you can't delete it because it contains a completed service. So like I was saying, we can't delete a job that actually has some work done. Now, if it's a case where you're not planning to do these services, then we just turn around and cancel out. Now you say, well, wait a minute, why don't I just reverse production on this service and then I can delete it? Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way because when you reverse production, that still exists as a line item in the customer's history tab. So again, because it's in the history tab, you can't do anything with it. Now, if we try to delete the customer, um, if we try to delete the customer's account, we hit the little red X here, hit yes, you'll see Again, it will kick up an error message because you're not allowed to delete customers once something has been done to them. All right, but if we go back to our prior example where nothing's been done, I can actually go into the customer's job here, hit this red X, click yes, and you'll see it deletes the job out. Now, if you're not careful, <laughs> you might actually inadvertently delete the customer themselves. I will be honest and I will admit when I ver very first when I started working with Real Green um, Systems, and we're talking we're within the first couple calls. I accidentally deleted a customer out, but that was okay because the guy already had just recently added them, so it wasn't that big of a deal. So again, because nothing was done to them, that's what actually allows us to delete the customer out. Now, if I were to hit this red X, and again, you'll see 31767. If I hit the red X, hit yes, you'll see he delete, the customer gets deleted out. If I try to go back to his account, nothing shows up because he is no longer in the system. All right. If I go to the next customer on the screen where there was, uh, 31768, and I'm even going to tell it to make sure to search for both active and marketing data, but like I was saying, if I go to this customer, oops, I just lost him for some reason, there we go, let's get back to him, all right, there we go, if I go backwards, you'll see it goes to 66, 67 is not in there anymore, and you'll never get the, six, seven, uh, the, the 67 back, because when we go to add a new customer, guess what's going to happen? They're going to get the next number in line, and in this case, uh, let's do here one real quick here, uh, two, 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 four, three, and, oh, maybe I don't have that one in there, got that one though, so again, uh, let's go ahead and make this active here real quick, hit save, and then hit my required fields, and again, just making a customer, make a customer, you'll see it actually gives them uh, 31817, so because you always end up adding the next number in line, that's why once you delete that customer's account, you'll never get that number back, but like I was saying though, is uh, as long as you haven't done anything to the customer's account, then yes, you could delete it. Okay, but once something has been done, once a service has been completed, once a payment's been entered, once an adjustment's been made, once something's in that customer's history tab, you will not be able to delete the customer. Once something's done done to the job itself, you won't be able to delete the job itself. So, um, again, this is something I hope you don't, don't normally deal with, at least as far as deleting customers. You shouldn't have to be deleting customers, but I know some people, you know, they're even scared about, you know, what would happen if they did it, and they want to know what it would look like. So, again, that's why I made this video. This is also why, whenever you actually have like a service or program that you're not going to be using it even more because it's probably tied to a customer's account somewhere you can't actually delete the service or program that has been created so for example if I take this round one here and I try to delete the record again it kicks up an error message what I would do is I'd go into edit mode and just make it unavailable again same goes with employees same goes with a lot of the parts of software if it's not something you're doing anymore you don't want to delete it just make it unavailable and you're less likely to run into any problems so I hope that helps and you guys have yourself a wonderful day